Israeli soldiers shot and killed a 45-year-old father of four, Ahmed Kala, at a checkpoint in the occupied West Bank. The Israeli military initially reported Kala confronted soldiers with a knife. None of the eyewitnesses interviewed by international news outlets said they saw a knife, but that was the story reported as fact by several Israeli news outlets that evening. One outlet, the news website Ynet, even tweeted a photo of a knife. Then this mobile phone footage, filmed at a distance, appeared online. <coughs> Although the video is somewhat unclear, the Israeli military soon changed its story. The knife was gone. Instead, Israelis were told their soldiers had stopped a, quote, suspicious vehicle in a routine inspection and had shot Kala after he tried to seize one of their weapons. Again, none of the eyewitnesses quoted in international news reports mentioned anything about Kala doing that. They say it all started when an Israeli stun grenade hit Kala's car. This pattern of misinformation, with the Israeli military changing its narrative, keeps playing out. We saw it after the killing of Al Jazeera's Shireen Abu Akleh, when the army initially suggested her killer was Palestinian. Ahmed Kala is one of 185 Palestinians killed by Israeli security forces in just over a year. No Israeli soldier has been charged in any of those cases. Human rights groups say they operate with impunity. Another way to put it, a license to kill.